Hey everyone, you're watching Coffee with Craig O. I'm your host, Craig Oshman from Caldwell Banker and the Around Town team. Any questions if you're looking to buy, sell, or invest in real estate, I'm always one text or phone call away or simply send an instant message. Today, I am with the tiny home people from Craft and Sprout. I'm sitting here with one of the co-owners, Ken Pond. What's going on, my friend? Hey, Craig, how you doing? Thanks for coming on Coffee with Craig O. Hey, my pleasure. This is great. Real simple. What is a tiny home? So a tiny home essentially is any structure that we can put onto a trailer and keep it mobile. So it's permanently attached to the trailer and you can bring it wherever you want. Now, what is the, who is the client that calls you and says, I want a tiny home? So two different people. Some people that want to have tiny homes on their property and use them as an accessory structure, a pool house, a yoga studio, a woman cave, a man cave, you name it. And then there's the other ones that call us that want to live in them full time wherever they want, around the country. We bring them all the way out to California if we have to. And I see that you have the amenities as such as that amazing bathroom in the background. And I also see that you have this beautiful sink. It's almost if I was to close my eyes, right? Sure. And you kind of blocked off the wall where you're walking in. Sure. I would think I was in a home. Sure. I mean, we, we compete with most uh, smaller studio apartments in New York City. You know, we have every amenity that you could have put into an apartment in the city into this house. Now I know as people are watching this, they're wondering, sure. what's the cost? Just give us a range of what people could expect. Sure, so like an average, the sweet spot, 24 feet to 28 feet long, 50 to $80,000, fully outfitted, out the door. Now as far as property, yep. someone who owns a home, this is sure. great because they can take the tiny home wherever they go? Wherever they go. They can leave it with a house if they were to sell their house and put a price tag on it for the new buyers, or they can take it and immediately have an a, an in-law suite or a pool house on their next property. And this is also a good thing because if, say if someone's doing a renovation on their home, right? Yeah. And they just need a place for a little while where they can stay sure. as renovations are going on, it affords extra space on a property. Oh, of course. I mean, you instantly add another three to 400 square feet of usable space to your existing home on your property, just like that. That's tremendous value. So what's like one of the unique things about a tiny home that most people who are not uh, acquainted with a tiny house would not know or think about? Well, just the, the overall um, use as an accessory structure. People, everybody sees them on TV and they see all the shows where everybody's living in them full time. And immediately in our area, we said, hey, these are perfect for use as, as a pool house or as an accessory structure. So that right away people say, oh, I didn't even think about that. Like I didn't think that I could use it as, with my regular size house, as an accessory structure, which is a, a key thing for our market in this area of Fairfield County. Now how did you and your wonderful yeah. wife, your, your better half, <laughs> <laughs> how, did, how did you guys get involved in, in the tiny home? So Tori and I, uh, my wife, uh, who does all the design work on the houses, um, about a year ago said, uh, well, maybe we can build one of these for a pool house on our property. And it just kind of picked up steam and we had people come over to come and swim in our pool and they said, that's an unbelievable pool house. And you know, they love the design of it, they love the copper and they love all the, you know, the sea glass tile and all the fun stuff that we'll take a look at. Um, and it just picked up steam and people say, well, I, I want one, bring one over. And that's incredible. And so do you think, so in, as you're interacting, so we put a lot of our coffee chats through yep. Facebook, we put them on YouTube, sure. I share them on LinkedIn, all of these sure. media outlets. Who is somebody that's reaching out to you saying, I want a tiny home. What's the first step? They reach out to you and what does that conversation yeah, look they, like? They'll send us an email to our www.craftedsprout. They'll send it to through Instagram, an inquiry through Instagram. Um, you know, we're on Facebook, yep. you know, as everybody is, and we, we really try to keep our newsletter up and running. Um, they'll send us and they'll say, well, you know, we'll ask them, what are your needs? What is your, what is your wish list in your tiny house? You know, if they're looking at it as an accessory office, they may not need a shower and a full bathroom. But they can use that space for storage space, for files, or for whatever. Because in a 24, 28 foot tiny house, you can set up a, a good couple of workstations and, uh, and have all of your amenities as an office, but right at your house. And the beautiful thing about it is, is whether it's 50 or it's 80 grand, depending on the bells and whistles. Oh, yeah. They, you also get the frame for them. You do everything. You get everything all taken from start care. to finish. It all starts on a custom made trailer. Uh, we work with a couple of different trailer manufacturers uh, out of state, and, uh, and we go from there. They're completely customizable, so whatever your needs are, that's what we put in. And you work within those budgets. And oh, those yeah. Oh, yeah. We, 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 we go right to everybody's budget. Whatever they need, that's what we put in. Got you, got you. And so, how did you, what did you do before Tiny Homes? What led you here? Right, so for 20, 20 plus years, I owned a construction company, and we worked uh, all in Fairfield County and in, uh, in Westchester, New York. Um, and that was, our, that was our livelihood for, for many years. Um, 
And once the tiny house movement kind of started taking steam and, and picking up uh, traction, we started looking into it and we said, you know what, these are a lot of fun. No. And it's a really fun business to be involved in. That's awesome. And so you actually, before we came on, you actually gave me this really cool gift. Why don't you tell sure. me about this special person? So Debbie Brooks is a uh, is a good friend of ours. She produces the bracelets. She's uh, she's nationwide. She's been on Today Show. She's been all over the place. And she just has a really really cool product in these uh, in these bracelets she makes. She makes them totally custom also, where she can actually take photos of your family and put them on your bracelet. Um, it, she's an unbelievable uh, woman. So DebbieBrooksHandbags.com is her thing. Oh, that's great. And, and I, again, we always love to promote businesses. What sure. I'd like to do in a few minutes is let's go around sure. in the next minute and go around. Sure. But what's the call to action? How, how can people uh, connect with you? So www.CraftAndSprout.com, Craft and Sprout on Facebook, and Craft and Sprout on Instagram. Any of those three avenues will get you right to us. Great. And also, you can check, he's also one of my Facebook friends, K-E-N, and then last name is Pond, P-O-N-D, or his wife, Tori, T-O-R-I, Pond, P-O-N-D. Uh, you can connect with them on Facebook. E any way to make it easy.